This event at Georgian College in Barrie, Ontario is one of many across Canada celebrating Black History Month. It's a very nice event. I think it's great. Like We need to remember our background, where we're from and our history. So I really appreciate it. Um, I don't even remember if we ever had anything like this. So we're very, very proud of it. There's more different cultures coming in the community now. So I guess getting this known out there and having this support, as much support as we could get, it's really great. Oh, it's awesome. The students here say they are especially excited to make some history of their own. This is the first time I heard about this event and um, it's great to bring it here because a lot of people don't understand about uh, Black History Month so um, I'm glad that they brought it here so that it can be uh, introduced and it makes the school more multicultural. Swanisha Lang is a second year international nursing student from Jamaica and she felt it was about time for the college to formally celebrate Black History Month so she got to work. It's the first event that we've ever had at Georgian College. Being here has made me freer and prouder of who I am and more aware of who I am and more aware of my culture and I am better able to share this culture with other people so it's, it's good and Georgian College really appreciates international students. That's where I, get, I got the help coming up with this. She was, she was great. Um, she came in and, and really helped me brainstorm ideas and things that we could do. And just this year during my role coming into Georgian College, the international student population has almost doubled and with expansion we really want to express as many cultures as we possibly can. So I think Swanisha was, um, was really the brains behind getting everything together. You can think of today's events as a snapshot of what's been taking place in Barrie over the past few decades. Today not only celebrates the diverse Georgian College student population, but also reflects the multiculturalism of the city surrounding it. And that's the future Barrie's Mayor Dave Aspen says is headed in the right direction. When you have the, the diversity that the city has now, mm -hmm. it brings a lot, of, a lot of different heart to the city. Uh, they're all great people. Uh, you have an opportunity to, uh, to attend the festivals, uh, work with the people, uh, enjoy their music, their culture, uh, learn, learn their background, and uh, share a lot of things with them. And of course, with that, uh, they bring their businesses to Barry. Uh, so maybe a clothing business or the food business, restaurants, dining rooms. So it gives an opportunity for everyone to enjoy a, a larger diversity of, of, of a lot of different areas of life. What did you think about the fact that Georgian College has just had their first ever Black History Month celebration? That's great because I don't know a lot of people outside of the Barrie area uh, are aware of this. But Barrie itself, back in the 18th, uh, 1800s, uh, was part of the Underground Railroad from, from the United States. And just outside of Barrie, in Oromodonte, which is an adjacent township, mm -hmm. municipality, is a Black African church. It's now been proclaimed a historic site. And... Uh, my fundraising each year in the last uh, two or three years now, and uh, the township has bought property beside the old church, and they are going to uh, build an intrepidive center adjacent to the church so people can understand just how important that church is to our community. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's quite a hidden gem. Canada's role in the Underground Railroad brings us here to this Methodist church located just 10 minutes outside of Barrie. This Black History Month, as we reflect on the past, we also draw from its lessons for the future, for that same inspiration that brought thousands of slaves to freedom. For Soul360 TV, I'm Rhoda Nemo in Barrie.